If you've seen any of my last few videos, you know there's been an ongoing tournament that started in May 2021 called the May 2021 Classic that's run through June into the beginning of July. It comprised of four qualifying rounds, semifinal, as well as a final round. I won my first two qualifying rounds, placed second in my last two qualifying rounds, which is, was enough to give me a trip straight to the final round. This final round that you're about to see is played between two players, myself and another, who made it straight to the final round, as well as two players who advanced to semifinals and won their semifinal round. It's a bid game, which means there's about a 12 minute bidding process at the beginning of this video, but if you wanna to skip to the actual gameplay, there's a link down in the description. Sit back, relax, and please enjoy. All right, now we're gonna bid. Guys, I've got a new strat for Rusty at Innovative. The irony is I shared it with Derp at one point. I don't know if he remembers it or not. But, uh... I basically can't let Russ Innovative go to anybody else in this game. Can't let it happen. gonna have to just pay what it costs and take my lumps if I can't cover the bid because what I'm not doing is I'm not taking Tagawa Industrial or Albi Mechanical and have Russ Innovative just run over everybody and never even get a chance to get out of my base or to get six stars if I get stuck and I can't make the bid I can't make the bid But even if it's in the low to mid 30s, I think I'm going to take it. It's just too good. And I've got, like I said, a new strategy that I've been wanting to play in a tournament in a bid game. And by new strategy, I mean it's original to me and I haven't rolled it out in a video. So it's not, not well known. All right. This is going to be interesting. For sure. What's funny is I just said in chat a minute ago that if we re-rolled the first one, I was going to be salty if it was like Russ Innovative versus Albion Mechanical. I said those words in chat. I kid you not. And here we are with Russ Innovative versus Albion Mechanical. So let's look at the tier list. Oh, to explain that in case I cut the first bit off of this video, this is our third reroll. We didn't like the first set of combos because it was unbalanced. The second set was even worse, and this was arguably even worse than the second one. But um, one player said, we've just rerolled enough. We just got to go with it. Albion Mechanical, F tier. Tagawa Industrial, D tier. Saxony Patriotic, B tier. Respiate Innovative, SS. And the best SS tier. Saxony Patriotic within six of Rusty Innovative. Oh, lost my screen. 
Got to make sure I lock the shutter here so it stays on. I just forget to do that sometimes. Get everything else set up and... All right, 28 for Russ Innovative. I get it for a good enough deal. I may just go with the traditional strategy. Try to end in 12 or 13 turns. But if I have to go 30 plus, I think I'm going to try out my new strat. It may fail miserably. But if it works, it will pay off in a big way. But I think it's going higher. I mean, Saxony Patriotic needs to be at probably 9 or 10 over Albion Mechanical. Maybe 9 or 10 over Tagawa Industrial. Although Durr took a while to bid last time. May mean he's giving Tagawa Industrial some thought with the 7 coin gap with Saxony Patriotic. I think it needs to be more. But Dur plays those uh those D and F tier combos really well. He's one of the best I know when it comes to getting the most mileage out of low tier combinations. Which is another reason that I don't want to end up with those combinations. Um because I trust myself more on the mid tier to higher tier combos than something like Albion Mechanical. All right, Marty bids up Russ Innovative to 29. I'm going 30. Gonna do it. Gotta look here and see it panned. There I made a list of bids. It's on my phone. Bid recommendations. He hasn't updated in a while, but it was uh, just a kind of list of recommended bids for things. He has a Russ Innovative at 31. And Saxony Patriotic at six. Albia Mechanical at three. And Tagawa Industrial at one. So we're getting to the point where it may be too rich for Marty. I would love it if Rusty Innovative doesn't go any higher. It does go last. That's the downside. But even so, I don't think that matters that much. The typical turn for Rust Innovative tries to end in 12 turns. I'm going to shoot for a 14 turn end. If it's more than that, I'm going to try to get tier 3. I think Marty's starting to think that Saxony Patriotic at 10 might be the way to go. He's using Durr's recommended bid list. He may even go Albion Mechanical before Tagawa Industrial. Just have to see. The tough thing here is if I don't do it, get a doable objective, 
recipe and innovative becomes a lot harder all of a sudden. And I have to depart from my plan. But the good thing is, I think with my strategy, let's see here. I need a look. I get to the factory in turn. Ten. I can get to the factory in turn ten. So if there's a popularity factory card there, the popularity star is really possible. Even though it would slow down the game quite a bit, and I'd risk getting workers bumped by a tier one Saxony Patriotic. The Tagawa Industrial moves every turn. They might make it to the center of the board, or I do. What, like five or six moves out of Tagawa? All right, Marty. Yeah, because here's the thing. 30 looks intimidating, but it's 30 over Albion Mechanical and Tagawa Industrial. It's only 21 over Saxony Patriotic. All right, Marty jumps to Tagawa Industrial. So Marty's even, either thinking about going to Russ Innovative at 1 or possibly considering ending it. And he does. He ends it. All right. Let's get these bids on the screen. I don't hate my bid. I would have gone higher. Guys, I'm nervous. Not gonna lie. The one downside here, going to a tier two strategy, is these are good players and they are probably not going to let me have easy combats without workers on them. All right. See who's making the game. I'll go ahead and make one. Play and go. Normal invaders from afar. One day, four players, promo cards, match choice, private game. Create, and let's get people in here. I did not expect, expect Russ Innovative 
be in this game. There is on Tagawa Industrial. So he may play to ruin my day. Artie wants to know if he ended the bidding too soon. Time will tell, I guess. I faced Mr. Durr twice in this tournament and lost both times. Third time's the charm, I hope. Durr thinks Marty ended the bidding too soon. We'll see. That's why every time you bid, you got to bid like the bidding is going to end the next turn. Guys, here's hoping for a good encounter, or this is going to be painful. Yeah, I need to remember who's who. What we gotta watch is if an early Toka comes out of Tagawa or Sutan. All right. We can't do balance workforce. We're gonna have to do hedger bets. That's super not ideal. Got to think about how that's going to work. But we're already going to have an upgrade. We're already going to have an enlist. Already going to have a mech. So we need one of each resource. And we need a structure. So we'd love to see a structure off the factory card. That would be great. So it doesn't move to metal instantly. I like that. That would be kind of scary for me. Would possibly mean he's going to rush me. The combat cards are a 4 and a 3. It would be a lot worse. I have no idea what Albion's going to do. Albion Mechanical is one of those where there hasn't really been a developed meta strategy that everybody plays. Wonder if we'll see a trade for two metal here. I mean, both strategies give at least an upgrade, a mech, and a list. It's that building. That building that's going to go two turns out of our way because we've got to produce on wood. And after we produce on wood,
we might lose the um well we won't lose the tier two producing on wood. None of these are really going to end super fast, except for maybe Saxony Patriotic. I'm really tempted, but I think, I think my tier 2 strategy is going to be the way to go. Three dollars for one structure is not bad. Neither is the two oil and one popularity or the two popularity to gain four oil. This is not a terrible encounter. I'm sure he would have liked resources other than oil, maybe some metal. But he could put a mill right here. And one trade for uh, metal sets him up for two max. I bet he would have liked to see like four food or something so he could trade for metal and then get that one enlist, get some power off of it. How am I going to get that building? I'm going to need to get lucky. I'm going to need to get encounters that give me popularity and resources on off of option number one. So let's see if Saxony moves to the encounter right here or stays on the mountain. They move to the encounter. Probably means I beat Saxony. Oh, but they st Day on oil. That's interesting. This is probably not the encounter Saxony wanted. I could see AM Morning taking $4 to deploy a mech, but the two pop for two combat cards and three power is, is tempting. Because that means you could potentially get the power star with Saxony Patriotic, which usually doesn't happen naturally. And that will, that will rush the game. Put stacks at six combat cards. I'm guessing we see a produce out of Albion right here and an enlist, probably taking something like coin and combat cards. All right. The standard opening produces two mechs before it moves across the food. So I haven't committed myself yet because two more produces would give me river walk. Do we see Toka or Ronin? Oh, we don't know yet. Good thing is I produce one more time, so I'm going to see that first max. So I'm going to know if it's Sutan, Toka, or Ronin, which is going to affect my game plan. Because if it's Sutan, I want to make sure I have a mech here. If it's Toka, I want to make sure I have a mech here. If I'm going with the popularity strat. And if it's uh, Ronin, I can relax a little bit. All right. It's turn five. And this is the point where I have to fish or cut bait. 
I have to decide after this Tagawa. Oh, the Tagawa mech doesn't come out yet. He doesn't have any metal on the board. Oh, wow. A little scarier. I would have liked to find out that knowledge. But the good news is that if Tagawa attacks me, there's a good chance that I can get a, an early star without having to give up popularity, which would be huge. This is a different start out of AM Morning than one I typically see with Saxony Patriotic. This is going to be interesting. The slower Saxony comes out of the base, the better for me, because Tagawa hasn't moved a lot yet. Okay, guys, I'm going to regret it forever if I don't try out my new strategy. So here goes nothing. Be good to me, encounter. How many upgrades am I going to get? Can't do number three, I can't spare the pop. Let's see here. Upgrade, upgrade. I'm gonna get two more. Upgrade, so that's six. This would be seven. But I get two more popularity if I take this upgrade, right? think potentially can I get the upgrade star instead of hedge your bets it's three dollars can't do number three because I need tier two with this strategy Hmm. That's a five point swing right there and one pop. I didn't get what I wanted there. This is unfortunate. Balance workforce is already gone. I have five workers and you can only get four enlists. I knew that was gonna happen. I don't want to see Toka here and I don't want to see Sutan. Go for Ronin, Tagawa. He goes for Ronin. Okay. Looks like a trade for oil. No, it was a produce out of Saxony. Saxony moving kind of slowly.
talking to my daughter. That's why my lips are moving. You don't hear any sound. All right, first Mac comes out of Albion. Albion's got one enlist on the board. Two combat cards. We like to see that. No easy combats for Saxony early against Albion. All right, round six. Reduce deploy. The township second Mac. That might get me to the factory a little bit earlier. Thing is, I can't move the factory until I've gotten two more upgrades on the food. So Tagawa can get to the factory one, two, three, four, five moves. With Ronan, we're not under threat, which is good. He's going to build. This is not a bad strat at all. The guy was going to clog up the board and make our bid difficult. Saxony going with a new strat. I like it. Secret strat that maybe she's been holding on to. All right. Upgrade to food. Upgrade. I'm going to go trade and list. Gawa cannot move this turn and move again in turn 9, not in 10, move again in turn 11. I'm going to produce 3 oil. You might see Toka here. One power, one card. I, I, would, I win that fight, but it costs me. Nope, Uton. So he's maybe going through the lake here. I'm still fairly protected, but it definitely means I drop my second mech over here. It's going to be People's Army, I think. Although People's Army doesn't do me much good until I get some more combat cards. I'm really glad to not see Toka out of Tagawa there. Saxony has underpass, but not speed. Means Albion's safe on that for now. Yeah, I think we definitely want to go Riverwalk. Be able to attack this spot 
if we need to to get a combat off of Albion. Of course, he's got five power to R2. So. I think I may go People's Army just the same. Drop it on this mountain. That means that when I move, I can move the character to the factory and bring... Uh, I only have to leave one on the mountain so I can bring a mech and a worker to here, which defends the factory from Tagawa. Of course, if I leave, if I leave one metal extra. That's one, one resource I don't need for hedger bets. So it means I could pick up what I need off of an encounter, another resource, and then only have to do two resources. Um, all right, it's turn eight. New river walk. Gawa can move this turn. Giving up the fight for the factory. I'm glad to see that. Gawa playing well so far. Albion playing well so far. I don't like how the board's getting clogged up. I can spread into Polania's base. I can spread in this area, but the more Tagawa moves, the less space I have to cover while keeping Tier 2. The one downside of this is just not as fast. Gonna trade for the rest of the food that I need. Saxony's gonna get another mech out pretty soon. Okay, I see what I'm going to do here. See what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to trade for two food. And then when I move, I'm gonna, I only need one worker on the mountain. So I can leave another worker. No, because if I leave a worker on the ma only one worker on the mountain, I lose the metal. I pick up an oil, but I leave the other worker on the tundra. But I lose the metal. So I'm still three resources short on hedger bets. What did Tagawa do last turn? Tagawa moved, built. Vaccine produced. Albion enlisted without producing, so Tagawa can't move this turn. Still, we're going to upgrade the triple produce into the enlist. Not sure Tagawa's going to enlist at all. Saxony's not adjacent to us. Albion cannot enlist this turn, so we're probably going to get two cards off of Albion. We 
you're not covering our bid at the moment, but like I said, our points are going to explode pretty soon. So here comes a second mech from Saxony. We're going to beat them to the factory. They could attack us with one mech. I'd love to see a popularity factory card. I'd love to see a build factory card. That would be amazing. We have the upgraded trade, so if we string, string a popularity trap, it's not the end of the world. We can make it up in one turn. Popularity factory card would also be pretty good. Would buy us some time. Okay, we gotta think about how we're gonna do this because to, Tagawa is gonna threaten us here. Okay, we're gonna move the character to the factory, we're going to move three workers and the food to this village, drop them all off, and move another mech here. That leaves two mechs to guard this space. Leaves a leftover metal after we make our last mech and put it right here and we get a factory card. I could just leave a worker here for the spread, right? No, I can't do that. Yeah, I can. Nope, not if I want to take it to the factory. I'm going to regret this if I'm like one or two points short. That extra move I can go over here but then he can take my oil come on build factory card give it to me this is useless I have almost no power with this combo I don't need this I only need one more produce and deploy is underneath it. I don't need this. All I have to do is move to get in lists. I don't want to spend coin. I'm going to take this. This could get me to tier three and just drive up my points insanely. And I need combat cards. Oh, looks like AM disconnected. That's why we do play and go games for tournaments, though. All right. There can move. He does. I win this combat. AM morning cannot attack me. This turn. Don't like the amount of spread that Tagawa is getting. This is the last trap, though. Would have been nice to be able to take the 
popularity and list. Maybe I should have done that, but with the combat card, factory card, with the popularity factory card. The guy has got two more buildings to make though, so I'm definitely going popularity next. I can spread through all this territory though. And morning's DC'd, so I'll have to come back. Three upgrades to get the upgrade star. One produce. I won't miss the next building if I go ahead and produce the next turn. All right, so I have a metal. So to get hedger bets, I need four workers on wood, one on food. One on a tundra. Or steal the oil. Okay, AM's back in the game. <clears throat> it's nerve wracking, guys. God was killing it right now. I have to get. Next move Saxony can attack the factory. Saxony has nine power, which is a lot. I say next move, not next turn, but next time Saxony can move. Albion's in some trouble. Saxony's in some big trouble. I'm in some trouble. Right now, Tagawa's looking pretty good. Okay, that's a that's another card. That's good. I've got a five, four, two threes, and a two. My combat cards are good. Um, go ahead and throw down this last power. Further protect myself on this mountain spot. Put myself in position to start moving. All right, just need thirty more coins <laughs> to win. Okay, Tagawa's going to put I don't have a safe wood spot is the problem Saxony has an upgrade and they can triple attack me here even with people's army Not, it's far from ideal
All right, it's time to move again. Um, vaccine can move. Game's gonna come down to how this goes, how these, how this movement works. Leave two here, three here to let this guy spread up here. Brings three over here. Guards the factory with three units. Really use a three pop counter right now or some food or not food three wood <gasps> structure 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 which one though armory Probably a mech out of Tagawa, right? Deuce action. Does Tagawa have pop to spend? They do. Take some power. Guard that factory. I said end in 14 turns, that was assuming I could get combats and an objective, but right now I can't. But let's see here, I've got the upgrade, I've got the mech, I've got a structure of recruit, I just need one of each resource. I think it's time to use the factory card. The guy still doesn't have enough power to take anything off of me. They may be looking at tier 2 at 4. Saxon could attack me. Bring some workers. Mess with my plans. No, they're going to just keep making mechs. Go to Riverwalk. Cost me some coin to go for that structure, unfortunately. This space is safe right here. No one can really get to this in a reasonable amount of time.
Gonna be tough, guys. Tagawa's at 72. Or 42. I gotta get to 72. It's doable. Very doable. But I need combats. The guy was playing very well here. I may have to play to tier three. Getting a lot of spread out of Tagawa and three stars now. I missed the popularity by taking the coin in list. That's okay, I'll have a chance to get it back. The guy was still at one power, they'd be at three if they attack. Time to move to this spot if I can. Set myself up to attack Saxony right there. Nope, can't do it. Saxony's going to block me. Diversify. Probably can't win one on one versus Sax. They're going to get the Power Star next turn. Not looking good, guys. I'd love to see a move here out of Albion and to stay with just one popularity there. Still have the pop bonus. That's going to take me to 8. Another factory card use takes me to 10. How much power does Albion have? Quite a bit. The god was the only one that can move and they can't really threaten the factory. Albion's at tier 2 now. It means they're going to be reticent to bump workers. I need to keep two units here. I don't want to put a lone mech on a tunnel for sacks. Ga was the threat right now.
Let's see what kind of points jump I got out of that. 60. Oh, I have two fives. It means I can pull a combat off of Albion right here. And pick up a territory as well. Put me a 10 pop. Give me some resources. Albion can't move, so he can't remedy the situation. Be combat number one. Got to ensure this. Albion doesn't want to get sent back because a counterattack from him means losing tier two. My heart is thumping, guys. The longer this game goes, the harder it's going to be for me. Right now I need 84. See what he does. The more he spins, the better. Saxony probably attacks me this turn. Problem is Saxony can't win with the score they're looking at. I bumped Albion down a notch in my head by 24. Tagawa again that I got to worry about. I need 72. Or is it 82? 
slows the game down, but it's worth 15, 16, 17 points. Which right now I'm up by, and it's enough to put me in the lead, assuming I don't lose the factory to Saxony. The guy was moving, it's good. Didn't bump workers, that's good. Gave me popularity, that's good. It means I don't have to trade for pop. I can trade for, uh, and get my objective, and then next turn, use a card and move to this encounter and pick up three pop. The guy was at 62 though, which isn't great. Means I'm only up by seven. Problem is, I think I'm going to lose the factory. No, Saxony can't, well, Saxony can't attack me with three units anymore. I have to bump to Gawa. Get there. The Gawa can win a fight if I leave only one unit here. So if Saxony doesn't bump these guys, I'm going to take this mech to here, the character to there. Okay, Saxony may be coming for the factory. Nope, going to pick up an encounter. That's good news. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this worker to here, and this mech to here, the character to here, and move a third mech to here to prevent Saxony from ta attacking me. That gives me a little bit of spread. It gives me a popularity. It sets me up for tier three. The next turn. And it gives me my last enlist. No, I have to do hedger bets now. I won't be able to do it. Well, if I get resources off, no. Well, I got metal off of this. If I get resources off of the encounter, I won't need to. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Block Saxony from attacking me on the factory with a mech. Albion can move. They can win back their medal if they so choose. Gawa's got so many points right now, guys. I'm not sure I can win this. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, plus nine, twenty-six, plus fifteen, is thirty-one, forty-one. It's still doable. I can pick up another combat without losing tier three. That's going to be the hard part.
Too bad this wasn't oil or something else like that. Albion have sword, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Saxony just moved, Agawa just moved, Albion just moved. I can do hedge your bets. Just gonna delay. Just gonna delay my tier three. Yeah, I couldn't have won that. Where am I going to get this combat? Seven to go, we get two, seven. If I put this here, I can play four. Gawa can attack the factory, and I can only play ten. Which the most Gawa would be able to play is seven. Any resources? Two dollars in popularity. That'll play. Okay, no one can move this turn. What am I going to pick up? 15, 16, plus 9 is 25. It'll be tough. Two. by 26 at the moment just I need that combat I can win here so Saxon can't invade without doing a 
doing 12, 6. I can't win it, but he doesn't know that. She doesn't know that, rather. Can't win if Tagawa attacks me on the factory, but I can counter. Tagawa have an objective already? Yes, they do. They already have four buildings. Can't end. This is the turn everybody can move. Be nice to have a power. Get another combat card here. Do I go seven? Thing is, if Tagawa goes their max at seven, I just come back with five. Well, they, they're getting run, and so it won't be seven. Any more combat cards? Good move. I don't think he goes max. I don't think he can afford to. This is probably game right here. Because he doesn't know what my objective is. If I counter, if he just leaves himself one combat card and I counter attack. Yes! That was the second combat I needed. 91. Up by 29. Tagawa can't move this turn. Let's see if Saxony messes me up. Because Albion can't do much. Two turns to end. And then I can get a little bit of spread. Not a lot. Saxon cannot take the factory this turn. Albion cannot take the factory this turn.
I need everybody to move and nobody to mess me up. Saxony could take away one, two workers away from me. Technically three, I guess, three territories. Albion can't take away any. But I got the combat I needed. It was so freaking close, but I got the combat I needed. Tagawa can't move next turn. Albion can, but we're not really worried about Albion. We beat Tagawa, we beat Albion. So it's, it's, Albion's not a problem. Don't bump my workers, Albion. Don't king make. You're probably out of it. It may not matter though. Can Albion end? Technically, Albion could, or Saxony could end here. I don't think they could have enough though. Oh, guys, this is nerve wracking. Can Albion end? Albion's turned in an objective and they have a mech. I don't think they can end. They can't get a combat and a mech this turn, so Albion cannot end. Okay, lost the territory. By 25. Remember, we're going to pick up 10 off two stars. It's 97. 20. Okay. Bump to Tagawa, worker 2. 27. This might be in the bag, guys. I, I don't know the math here. Tagawa can't end it either. Tagawa can't move. We just got to make sure we don't double clutch our click that we get wood and oil. Make sure we have everything else. One upgrade we have, one mech we have, one structure we have, one recruit we have, and one of each resource we will have. Albion cannot end in two turns. So let's see what the score is going to be. We're going to pick up 10 from the stars. We're going to lose one. 10 from the stars. Lose one from the trade. That's nine. Pick up one from the territory. That's 13. We're going to lose three from spending the food. That's 10. Get two off the coins. That's 12. 12 puts us at 89.99. I think this may be see what Albion does but this may be game guys All right well 
wood. No one can move. By thirty four. Oh, I can pick up two territories. I can um, pound ship to here and here and enlist. Tell you what, that structure off that encounter was absolutely clutch. So what can Tagawa do? And produce for Mac number four. Can't get a combat. So this last turn, I'll pick up five, lose three. So that's two plus four. Oh no, two plus two off the enlist bonus. So that's four plus two territories. That's eight more, so that's 12. I'm up by 34. Tagawa can't move. Dax can't move. Albion can't move. Move. Just need to not hit any wrong buttons. <laughs> Tell you what, guys, that gamble on the factory, oh my goodness. That was terrifying, but I had to do it. I had to do it. I didn't have a choice. All right. What am I up by? I'm up by 33. And he has a bit of one. All right, so up by 33. Just needed to be up by 29 over Tagawa. That is game. That is game. Two-time champion, y'all. The second four-player bid tournament I've managed to win. Come in at 45 with a 30-coin bid. It's a 44, a 46-point win, right? All right. Good game. Thanks for watching. I am stoked. <laughs> this was oh, a nerve-wracking game. I thought I didn't have it for a long time, but I pulled it out. Championship, guys. Championship. Thanks for watching. Uh, more to come. Later.